Well, hi there, guys. So, we are back here. Um, today we are on grain carting duty. Um, right now. This is our new tractor here for the grain cart. Um, this is one of the newer tractors. It's new to me, but isn't really new to the world. Uh, you shouldn't lie like that. Um, yeah, this is the farming multiplayer server. Um, everybody just left. We just did a giant live stream. A few minutes ago, or we just got no one to the wood a while ago. Um, yeah, uh, can I not? Okay, I can do that. That's good. So yeah, we were just doing a uh, giant harvest here. Uh, it was an hour and a, and a half live stream uh, with this. This was my tractor I was running. Uh, I had a bunch of cams from one of my buddies. He was running this one. This is his tractor. And then Cameron, uh, his tractor sitting over here. That's his truck, by the way. Uh, this is his tractor right here. He parks it up nice every single day. He keeps it clean. Um, lower the RPMs up. This is one of the other combines here. Uh, one of them was working, and then he just put it on a worker. The other combine, I don't know, yeah, this is the sprayer too. Um, they are both full here. So, up to you. Higher again. Um, let's see here, because I really don't want to go chasing combines right now. So, So we've been just harvesting this whole entire field for the last hour. Uh, yeah, it, it's been nuts as well. It was quite crazy. Um, the game is currently saving, as you can tell. Um, yeah, this field is massive. It's huge. We only have two combines, and this is still taking an hours to get to where we're at right now. And we're only a quarter of the way done with the field. Um, yeah, see? This is the field. Um, yeah, it's uh, going to take a while. Like, literally, this is all we have to harvest here. And it's, this field is so long. And the issue with that is, is that we don't even, we never fertilize this field either. So we have a really, really, really low yield. Um, the next field here is literally the half of this field. And it's just all soybeans. Then we have a bigger, a tinier field. And it's in corn, but it's not really even tiny. It's actually huge. Um, one of my buddies, he's got his field here. Then he's got this massive field up here as well. Um, I've not went up here to check this area out either. So, um, yeah. And then we have this giant field up here. Yeah, there's this map is just huge. Um, this is based off of an in, of Indiana, um, but really it's called Good Hope, Ohio. Because the this is right this side right here, 
is the Indiana Ohio border right here is Ohio and this is Indiana um, yeah it's pretty close but this field is gonna take forever to do these are all the low spots in the field right here it's all mapped out this one is actually one of the next fields with this farm here um, it's a bit crazy there was there is a farm right here too it's not finished and neither is this one this one is not physically here yet because it's not been built this little one up here I don't know what's gonna happen with it uh, but the land now all of this is 300 acres I don't believe well no this actually is 300 acres 175 163, 92, 57, 167. And then all this here is 37 acres. And Fayette County, and Stephen Shepard, Corey Host, Billy Parker, Jeff Henry, and then the county, and then me. Um, so my buddies. This is Christian's ground, which, yeah, this is still owned by someone else here. The county, uh, Christian owns this field, and this field here is on the server. Uh, this one is owned by Max, which is one of my best buddies. This is owned by Jacob, all through here. And then one of my buddies owns this ground right up here. So really, there's just three farms. I own the bigger pot because, well, I have the equipment um, to run this ground. As you can see here, this is my uh, John Deere S770. Uh, it's pretty new. It's only got 2.6 hours on it. Uh, the one thing I hate about this new combine is the new death system. I don't like the, the diesel exhaust for the wind system on these. Um, this is the other tractor. This is, yeah, this is the one that has got the most hours on it. 402 hours on this combine. We got a lot of hours on this machine. Uh, yeah, it's pretty expensive to run this ground. Uh, yeah, this ground is very, very rich. It's just right now we're getting 152 bushels an acre. And yeah, this is quite the uh, show, I guess. Um, this is the truck. It's not, it's hardly been driven actually. Um, but you know what? We can go ahead and uh, buy a combine here. Because um, I do need a third combine. Because these two are just running slow in, in themselves. Um, let's see the dealer has they do the dealer does have a big old combine for sale and it's a 780 um, it's on Michelin's <clears throat> it's not on those tracks it's on the John Deere tracks um, it's this one and the Grand Tank extensions. They are uh, trying to customize one here. Um, it's not the factory one. It's actually not that either. It's actually the factory foldable one. This is the combine they run. But I don't want to spend $216,000 on a combine right now. I kind of just want to try something different. Um, one of these will do just fine. This is only holds not very many bushels, though. That's the issue. Um, I don't want to run something that's small. I kind of just want to run quite a little thing here. This is the Titan 2 extension off the Titan. Brazil, Brazil. We don't run Brazil stuff. This is with the XL on this combine. 
ATI tracks on this thing look sick. But I'm running duels on this combine. I can't just run anything on this combine, really. I'll just run some meaty boys on this. Some meaty tires. This will be the combine. 6660. Bullet rotor. Bullet rotor. Cover. Uh, we do have a cover, cover two, cover one, and then no cover. Which the no cover actually looks the best, but then again, it makes it look a little older. That is what is on the other combine. This is on the newer body, which the newer body combines look a lot better. Um, and my, and I could straight pipe this as well. Uh, straight pipe, straight rain cap, uh, straight pipe it because I kind of want to straight pipe a little bit right there. Chopper tailboard or the advanced power cast system. This honestly looks better. Short pipe, standard pipe. I think this is the pipe we're gonna run, but I kinda like the old pipe here. It looks better. Probably only can run like a 35 foot head on this combine anyways. Not very much. But on this one, in the 60 series, I think I can only run a certain amount. Yeah, that one. The 120 bushel grain tank on this. What's the biggest I can run? Like floaters. I could run floaters. But I don't want to run floaters. I want to run duels. Are those the biggest duels I can get on this thing? No, those are the biggest duels I can get on this thing. Uh, 2007, 98.60. Short pipe, long pipe. Standard pipe. Interior details. cap normal left straight put back green star advanced power cast system or the regular vein tailboard I think I'll run the, the vein tailboard but I think the combine I have right now is just fine um, I could run an s690 <laughs> which is an older combine that'll load it's currently nine o'clock here right now there we go I don't know why all the time these come with floaters. I don't, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the floaters, just to being honest here. I ain't a big fan of it. Because, well, I'm just not a big fan of floaters, and neither am I of those. I prefer those, and I prefer a shorter pipe, or this pipe, really. That's really all I would want to pick. This is not a 2012, it's a 2015. Uh, the Grain Tank Extension, we are getting one of those. As that. Uh, the regular vein, no. We are not having the regular vein tear board. We are having a wide rear axis. And this is the combine 
that is going to not replace, this is going to end up replacing the uh, other combine. Um, but we'll, we'll consider it maybe if I want to. I'm wondering about the New Holland Combine, because there is a older New Holland Combine, the 9000, but I can't seem to find it. Yeah, those are all those. This is one of the smaller Combines we could run. It is a very small. It is one of the actually the smallest one of the group. Um, honestly, this has got the extra screen in it, which that is one of the harvesting screens. Um, I don't think this one has it. It does, but it doesn't have the actual script like it should. I don't want to tune on it. I want duels. I want duels. But do I want... Oh, CNH tracks. Smart tracks. High idler. Real crop duels. Wide single. Duels. CNH tracks. Um, this is what you see a lot of times in the US. So, CNH tracks. We'll run those. Uh, beacons. Roof beacons. I don't want two beacons. Uh, extension. 21,000 liters. Doesn't seem realistic at all. So, I will just go ahead, take out a loan for 700000 Yes, I could do that. Um, this farm could easily pay it off. Very, very easy. It's not that hard to pay off that at all. Um, I don't want an extension because this already enough is plenty and it's the realistic amount anyways for the combine so I'm not gonna push it uh, first of all I want to check and see if this could even run the 45 foot draper um, because honestly it's meant for that combine but I honestly am drifting more towards these That's nice. Doesn't look that bad either. It actually looks pretty good. Uh, it, it does need different sounds, honestly. Uh, I ain't a big fan of these sounds at all. Uh, open up a pipe. It can. Can run. I feel more comfortable running a Macdon on this than I do the normal header. I feel more comfortable with a Macdon, honestly, on this. A uh, little 35 footer or a 40 foot. I think a 40 foot would be okay. Uh, New Holland Yellow. Lease. And if that does fit, I'll buy it. Because um, honestly, this is really one of the bigger combines. And most of the ones in the US don't have those new smart track systems. They actually have the. Uh, um, yep, yeah, 40 foot seems the way to go. So we'll run a 40 foot. 40 foot it is. $85,000 for that header. Better than worth it. Because 
this is going to be replacing the uh, other deer. The older deer, actually, is going to replace that one. Ooh, stop. Thanks. I appreciate that if you would stop. I really do wish I could do something for you guys and have a mounted it to my joystick because actually I have it set up to where oh no 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 I don't want that I don't want that I don't want to draw it Ooh, it's having issues right on this header it's having some big old issues not liking it very much um on the other combine I do, what I need to do is actually I need to have it set up to have the extended hood on it because on the extended hood mod uh, what it will do, it's a modification you can put into these combines from like your computer files and what you can do with it is uh, Yes, yeah, here's my wage payment for all the workers. $611 at noon. Um, but what it could do is when I'm opening the pipe and stuff, it'll say opening pipe and your fill. It'll give you your fill level, your engine load, all of that. Like, on here, my engine load doesn't get given off at all. I do want to get it up there. Go. Get off the load off the engine. Shouldn't have this much trouble again around here, but I guess the tracks do affect it a little bit. Uh, I'll go ahead and hurry this one away. Uh, yeah, he's doing pretty good. I mean, this is actually a really nice combine. Money well spent, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, this one's done. This guy's full. Guy's still going. Honestly, it seems like this this one fills up quicker than that one does. But then again, I'm running a 45 foot head, and that combine over there on uh, this one is running a 35 or no, yeah, 35 foot head. So it's running 10 feet less, and we're getting less. 151 bushels an acre, 152 bushels an acre, and how much are we getting in this one? I'll empty it. I'll fill it up with the other thing, I guess. Empty it. Check it here. Uh, empty. Higher. See how much we're getting an anchor. 152. 151. 152. Yeah, the newer combines actually have a cleaner grain sample out of here, too. So that's what this right there, this spot, that little indent on the side, it opens up. They do on the new deers too. Um, right there, actually, that black is. That's actually where the uh, rain tank. Pull it out of the rain tank. Yeah, so you check your sample. Um, check your sample, and the same thing on these older deers too. Same spot. Um, this field is where we, I think, let me know in the comments below what I should put in this field um, next year, or the next after this one. You guys get to pick um, the crops we could choose from, uh, the crops I'm not going to grow. I will not grow these if you guys put these. I am still not going to grow them. I don't want to grow them. Wheat, which we're already doing, so if we want to do wheat on wheat, we can. Winter wheat, I guess, different variety um barley we can run oats we can run not canola i don't want to run canola i don't want to run cotton uh don't want to do sunflowers we can run soybeans corn um wheat barley oat those are your choices wheat barley oat soybeans and corn and if i really wanted to we could do canola too but i don't feel like doing canola because canola, you don't yield very much from it. 
honestly, in my opinion, uh, we are going to have some work put out toward us if we want to harvest this all again. Because this is a lot to take the harvest up. But this is making quick work of it too. So, having three combines takes up a lot of work. As you can tell, this map is still in progress. Um, yeah, this is still in progress. This is actually getting ex extended. The wall right here, right now, is just to protect from this. But, what we're doing so far... Um... This is my map that I'm making, or editing at least. It's already been made, but it's being edited at this point. Uh, we are still on the process of making a road. As you can tell, the roads are right there. Cuts in between the field. Goes into the yard. We are still working on that. Um, this soybeans, these are here. We're going to harvest these as well in the next video. Uh, as you can tell out here is right here so right this is gonna be one big map it's still gonna keep going um, this is still gonna keep going all the way out literally this is all how big the map is gonna be it's gonna be very big very very big um, We've already got the trees laid out. We've already got everything laid out. We just need to get these farms all built and ready. Um, the Macop Macopin brothers, they own this ground. Uh, we're going to get some lag through here. Uh, this is the canola right here. Jeff Henry owns these. Um, we go up the road here. Yes, yeah, all of this back here up to This point right here is how far the maps being extended out um, At least to get the field boundaries right because this right here is actually another farmyard that's being currently built as you could tell I have spent a few hours trying to get all of these down As you can tell you can still walk into it as well um, this is the border right there. All of this is still being worked on. This is going to be a new cattle yard. Um, this is one of the fields right here. And barley. Barley, actually, I'd rather grow into that field this time around. The wheat yielded terrible. Corey owns this ground right here. And same with that one right there. This one is owned by my good, good friend Max right here. All of this ground, I think, right here is his. He's got these fields right here. All three of these right here. Those are. This is his ground right here. He's just not came on here and bought any of it yet because he hasn't wanted to. And we just got an achievement. Harvest 10 hectares. Uh, that looks more than 10 hectares. Um, but this is where one of this is where he's gonna put his farm. He's already outlaid it with grass um he's gonna be right across from my farm i don't know why i'm just it, i'm having a lot of skipping and stuttering with this as you can see there's the combine right here the new one looks beautiful well guys it's getting up to 30 minute mark um the stream will be up to next week on Monday or Tuesday uh, we're and we will probably either be doing farming that we are no longer doing mining anymore uh, because well the mining save game got corrupted and have to restart all over again um, uh, the discord is slowly dying off um, sadly because of that uh, I'm not really too happy about it either all of my buddies aren't happy about the game doing what it did. Um, we had a total of 900 hours on there, all of us. So, yeah. Um, not really the greatest. It kind of sucks, actually. It really, yeah. See, it really sucks, but, oh, well, we got this map. Um, it's being bigger. 
but you can see how much it takes just for one of these sections to be done with one 35 foot head it takes a lot um, and on this one is a 45 foot and then this one is the New Holland and then this one here is still wheat that I've not even bothered to harvest yet and we gotta I gotta build this road down here like seriously I'm about to build the road because yeah we need it um, what else here um yeah so this is it for the video this is my farmyard welcome to yeah welcome to my farm um we currently own 397 acres or no 342 acres of land on this little tiny farmyard it's not really tiny but this is a considered a pretty big farm this is one of the fields here um it's probably this is actually more like 300 acre 100 acres in itself and that one's 100 acres and that one down there's 50 so really it's 250 acres but this is there's more of it um but yeah this is all of our land and all of our equipment sitting right here peace out guys